My name is Darwin Sumner, I'm from Red Lake Indian Reservation. My name is Mary Ringhand and I'm from Panema, Minnesota. I'm Makadewi Gabawi Kikwe, Ms. Kwagami Wizaga Egeling and Dongjiba. Makwa and Dode. My name is Black Standing Woman and I'm from Red Lake and I'm a Bear Clan. My English name is Catherine Bolio. We're all Red Lake Band of Chippewa Indians that live in Red Lake. It's a um, nation that was held on to by our um, forefathers when um, all the land of the United States was uh, taken away from our people. Red Lake was one of the lone holdouts and so we have a uh, we hold our land in common. I love the fact that um, we have a closed reservation, meaning that it's uh, solid Indian land, it's not allotted, and um, it's beautiful. And uh, I get strength from the natural beauty of our land, of our reservation. It's a paradise, actually. So, everything I like to do is right there in the lake, fish, hunt, trap. It's nice that. Um, when you go to a store, you know people by name. And I just love it. It's full of beautiful natural resources and beautiful people. This is my second rural community I've lived in, and it's I'm finding more hope for this. Glad for study circles. The circles is the traditional way of the Indian people for thousands of years, and it, it but it's. Today's like cutthroat competition is not our form. We're more into competition where it's win-win. I, I, I think uh, Bagley is a challenge because the same people that are in leadership volunteer for all the same committees or different committees. It's all the same people, and we, I think, have become stagnant. It seems like only the uh, political people's families flourish around from The strongholds of the uh, uh, people that control these communities for years is, uh, is a big challenge. I think that the tribal politics um, has gotten in the way of our traditional ways of um, having that circle expanded and including everybody. Language revitalization is stated as a, as a um, big goal in our community right now, but how to do it when we are struggling with survival and oppression and economic um, challenges is very difficult because nobody has uh, access to transportation on a regular basis or even telephones or um, computer and internet. I don't think that that oral history has been passed on as much as it could have been or should have been rather. And I think we need to create um, ways of sharing with our younger people a uh, national consciousness, and I mean national as far as our reservation, our own tribal history. Um, the hope of our community, I think, is to heal from the past of what all was taken away from us, and I see our future as hanging on to the language, trying to recapture that and teach it to our young people and our traditions. I want to see people who haven't had a voice finally have a voice. And if anyone has ever paid the price for the, um, the one-sided history that's been out there, it's been the people of color of America because of the prejudice. And, yeah. So maybe we can build bridges. I think that's the thing now. I want to see no limits to the ideas that can come out of new people meeting together. This, you know, hopefully we'll be able to bring people together to work toward positive change and not necessarily change away from our traditions, but change to keep our traditions alive. I think if something happens and we can actually get something done, they'll just start the ball rolling and then they see success in one area, it'll give everyone the encouragement to keep going with and tackle bigger issues. Moment. Yeah.